Okay, that's huge. I'll look after uh, Dranthrax while they're out. Alright. So you leave him behind in the cave while you scout? Yeah, and I'm like, take care of my son. Wait, weren't you, like, mean to him earlier, though? No, no, I feel like it was you, though. Mm Mm-mm. Just a, just a little... No, he was vi- vehemently against the dragon. I was. That was a thing. Not necessarily I'm mean scared to, it. to leave him alone with my I'm, son. I'm not gonna kill him. The thing is, Gosberg, all Gosberg promise? said was, like... All Gosberg said was he was gonna treat him as emergency food if it ever come to it. So, yeah. Yeah. Do you think it'd be okay? I just... I think it'd be alright. Okay. Arangandir trusts you, so I trust you. Um, and I, and I turn to Jurathrax. I'm like, be good for my friend. I don't know his name. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I'm like, I'll be right back. I love you. And then I leave. Okay. Bye. So we're out what is here. Rogar. Rogar. Okay. Maybe you should write that down. It's not, it's not like you have like a sheet that explains his entire character or anything. That's too complicated, Andy. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, so. Uh, what should uh, I, I do? Love you so much uh, right now. Like, I want to go and see if I can find any trace of giant activity in the nearby, or if I can maybe hunt out a camp slayer? or a lodge hmm? or something. Are like you that. making dragon slayer? Mm-hmm. Uh, take? yeah, make a. <laughs> no, it takes almost two thirds of a year. Perception wow. check. Perception. Yeah, so two hundred days. Two hundred work days. Or eight months. That's not bad um, at all. That's. <coughs> Um, no, that's 25. It's less, it's less than that. Oh. All right. It's... Um, so, Ro and Arungan deer and deer and giant lynx form like are padding around, jumping through the snow. It's uh, beautiful. Mm-hmm. Wow. Majestic. Very, uh, very nice. Very nice. Uh, you fine. don't find... Visibility is pretty shit up here. Yeah. The snow doesn't keep you able to see much farther than 150 feet. Um, you don't find any hunting lodges or anything. From what you can tell, most of the frost giant activity is in there. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'll settle for like change. I'll settle for like oh, okay. stumbling upon change. magical weapons okay. and things like that. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't get that. Okay, yeah. So you find a sphere of annihilation, okay, and thanks. you step into it and you die. Okay. Um, <laughs> cool. All right. And that's that's right, actually now, gonna, it, it actually it, it's a world-sized one. Dragon? It activates and it destroys the world, and we're done. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> No, uh, as long as it kills Ricky, I don't give a shit. Uh, but that's <laughs> no, the kicker. It doesn't even do that because he has a, everybody but Ricky. He has a spaceship, so he survives. <laughs> no, Ricky just he gets on the Star dimensions. Blaster. And he he jumps planes only to wreak havoc in another dimension. Ouch. Okay. So oh. imagine if it turned out Ricky was a planeswalker. And all because time. I asked the simple question. Uh, but yeah, you search about and you go to where the frost giants uh, lair is. Yeah. And you and Ro are able to actually climb up on top carefully and see into their lair. Okay. My hopes are real good to climb. Not really. I'm like practically horizontal. Like, <laughs> I mean, Wait, isn't that ghosts? Like, practically like, horizontal. horizontal. You're like a horse. On <laughs> Impressive, <that>. Maddie. <laughs> yeah. You're like a horse in the sky. But, isn't that like. <laughs> Yeah, but, isn't but that it's, like it's, goats, the horse it's like is like this ghosts, going up. It's like those goats that crawl up to like lick the salt. <laughs> yeah, oh they gosh. crave that. Mineral. Oh my gosh! You know what? I have something a crazy thing about goats in Yellowstone. But, but I don't first, say it. Yeah. we have to hear from. It's gonna be gross. DM. Yeah, you just see the vast expanse of ice that is the glacial rift <clears> of the frost giants. <laughs> okay. okay. Anything else? Uh, it's pretty big, so you can make out. You occasionally make out the shape of a frost giant moving, and you see that in some sections from the height that you're at, there are a few ways that are blocked by boulders, which will be marked B on the map. B. Mm. Got it. Whoa. Okay. With this information, <coughs> useful as it is, I'm going to head back then. Yeah. The boulders, they're pretty big, but you have enough strong people on the team that you don't think moving them... And would I think that the frost giants probably wouldn't move that way? Uh, you think it functions similar to a door for frost giants? Oh. The boulder? They're strong enough that they can move them without difficulty. I see. With your team, uh, same as the doors in the the hill giant okay. area. Okay, more than one area. Like, for humanoids, people your size, it take a little bit of effort, but you can get them open because you guys are all pretty buff. Okay, cool. It reminds me of the so Flintstones. We're solid. Great, all right, all all right. right let's go. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back, transform back into we myself. Each other, we're like, 
Yeah. And then we like do a backflip. Yeah. And we, <laughs> and like, Unnecessary backflip. <laughs> and then we get back from like. For clout, yeah. Uh, we transform into pose. I like to imagine and you then, two. Uh, I'm sorry. So I, I go and tell them about B. Can I just say no, that I like wrong. boulders uh, in the pathway? It seems like a door. I can like the porch just steaming. <laughs> you're like sweating, you're like. Hey, what's up? It's like Why a Michael Bay steaming? movie. Because I've been working over a forge. Oh, okay. And we're in an ice cave. <laughs> I'm like, Brogar, you son of a bitch. I thought you How meant... How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant my dragon like set you on fire. No. <laughs> he walks with... He he's just... His armor is just pocked with acid. He's like, take your kid back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never babysitting again. <laughs> you won't pay me enough. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey. What's happening? I, I fill you in. Oh. Uh, How's your child? Still Warm! Still he doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, that's okay. No, neither do I. No, there's no such thing no as a parent. That's that's really yes, yeah. there's no such thing as a perfect parent. When you know, they'll know, you know? Yeah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Mudfoot has helped you move the egg to a distance from the forge where it won't hard boil, but it will stay warm. Yay. Perfect. He's taken a lot of str- uh, care of a lot of strange creatures oh. and babies throughout the years, so... Okay. Yeah. How's the sword coming? The sword, your sword. Um, sir, you're, oh, sorry. fine. It's just it's gonna take a while. Yeah, mine was given to me by all of them. Yeah. So. All of who? All of them. All of them. All, all of who? The, all the gods. Oh, yeah. neat. Yeah. The thing about Rogar's son is that he he is making a carbon copy of yours. Mm-hmm. Cool. It's a thing I can do. That's pretty bad. That's cool. So That's your sword cool. will kind of also be given to you by the gods, kind of. Mm, in a way. Third hand. But yeah, you know, I'm like the middle man, and then my sword, and then you, so it's like four degrees of separation from all of them, but <laughs> still pretty cool. Wow. Yeah, I didn't have to make mine. <laughs> but doesn't that mean that his is worth more because he made it? You know, sweat No, blood, because tears. mine are from the gods. Yeah, but... but... Like, literally given to me. But the thing is for it's imbued when... with divine magic. So I feel like <laughs> Good job staying humble. <laughs> yeah. Alright. That's a quality that the gods. Your kid sure is love. gonna have a horrible parents. That wow. Ouch. That that was a little that was a little below the below See, you know what you failed my test. Is gonna fall no, you're just points. talking about complimenting people. I don't know what the hell is this shit. Yeah. Is. I'm gonna full of I'm gonna go ahead and watch Rogar. Okay, well you know what? You are I'm gonna go in there with, with them also so advice. I can hang out with my dragon. Okay, yeah, you do so. And also run and do. He is your dragon uh Duranthrax is hanging out on your bedroll. Aw so. We down. love each other. Yeah. So how do you know how to do that? Um, I can keep blueprints in my head very well. Wow. So I can, it's easier for me if I make something the exact Ooh. same as something else. Okay. Yeah. Do you infuse the magic in with um, the blade? Would you? Yes, I do. Uh, that's wow. what I have that for. And I point over to this, like, blue burning forge. That helps me melt down magical metals and draw the... Arcane essence from it and put it in something else. You must be very intelligent. It's possible. Do you did you have to like borrow my sword and look at it for a long time? Mm-mm. You just saw me using it like mm-hmm. once. Wow. Pretty much. That's. Yeah. That's really smart. Yeah. I have like, if I had to like say like out of twenty how smart I was, it's like a nine. Oh, so yeah. not very smart. But I bet you're like like an like an eighteen. Mm. <clears throat> I know, I know a little bit about certain things. I'm very good at forging weapons. I also know armor. a little bit about certain things. Everyone knows a little bit about certain things. I'm very good at forging weapons and armor, but I'm not the smartest when it comes to um, the type of thing that Zafrab knows. That's oh. okay, I'm not the smartest when it comes to anything. We all have our faults. Yeah. <laughs> Except for how much I love my dragon. I know everything about that. Wow. So you have a parent, you either know everything or you know nothing. Oh, no, I don't know anything about parenting. I just know that I love my dragon. I'm like 100% yeah, no, sure. Exactly. So you already know everything you need to know. You just need to love the child. Oh, man. <laughs> really you know, make sure they're fed. That's mm-hmm. a really candid answer. Good. Really yeah, good that. stuff. Boom. High five. Stuff like that. Uh. Eh. You take force damage. Uh. <laughs> 
uh, Rogar, at that moment, you notice something that you don't think anyone else noticed, and a part of your mind is going, ah, oh, shit. Because you see, carried on the wind, a piece of paper that's, like, flying through, like, it's carried by wind, and <laughs> smacks you right in the face. Which person? And you Me. pull it off, okay. and you see the Murdu family seal, and you know, oh, shit, because this is her spell. And you hear your sister's voice in your head from the sending spell. <laughs> <laughs> this is her version of spending. It's basically a howler. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Oh my. What does it say? Brother? I've just received word from a naval captain that apparently you're in Hakam. And a town that has almost no laws is now casting laws against spellcasting. <laughs> And a second one hits you. Oh. <laughs> Damn it! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> you okay? Every time. <laughs> you okay, bro? Damn, Damn it. it! You can send responses. <laughs> Wait, oh. let me do it to the fourth time. <laughs> That's amazing. What an amazing spell. Isn't uh. magic wonderful? Yes, it is. You know what would be even more wonderful? <laughs> Just up here. Yeah. Let me tell you about it. <laughs> that is from your sister, Irigil. Hey! Or do. You know what would be even more wonderful? The ability to just transport food directly into your stomach. No need to chew. Yeah, you reckon the way that probably happened is that some, uh, Hosfa Navy <coughs> ships have... What did you say her name was? Irigil. Some Hosfa Navy ships have set the... Ca sometimes the captain, if they're going especially far or on a good, important mission, have sending stones. Good, 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 good. And obviously he, he said, Oh, I see a noble dragonborn here. Sending it back to base camp. And then word got up chain to your family somehow. News spread like wildfire. <clears throat> so she's wondering why you are in her calm. <laughs> I'm just waiting uh, for them. I'll respond saying... Uh, nothing major, just saving all of the civilized world. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you do that on the rig? <laughs> it's, you know, a Friday night for me. Pretty much. Every week, man, just gotta save the civilized world. The crux. Every day at 9 p.m. Central. <laughs> you know, it's so good, I actually pay people to, or I get, like, I actually sell tickets for people to watch me save the civilized world. A good living what about office. the uncivilized Who cares? They're all giants. Oh, no. I mean, his village. Also, the halflings. Yeah, but not giants. Halflings aren't civilized? I, the ghost wives aren't. They just know, have little got a bit of yeah, that's nice. All right, so you don't get any further communication from her. You don't know how many times she can do that. <laughs> so she could just be pissed off, or she could be not able to do it. You're not sure. Um... <laughs> Like five more hit with the face in unison. Wizard siblings. <laughs> oh, One of them is just like, oh well, fuck you. Well, <laughs> if, 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 if it's like those people. No, that one's just blank. <laughs> That's Whipper's mom. Huh? That's Whipper's mom. Oh man, I just can't wait. Oh, my God. oh you're sending. so her. His He's sending brother. with like. Oh my God, I can't wait for the letter. Is it for me? That his brother-in-law is now <laughs> so dead. He sends you stuff. I saw the funniest thing. What? <laughs> hmm? Don't worry about That's it. not happening for a few years. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's, it's your brother-in-law. You didn't even know him that well. Okay, okay. It's cool, dude. Nice guy. Or at least... Nice guy. <laughs> so he fought Agnor. Then things kind of went Good downhill. Um, Good old uh, So you guys, I assume, take a long rest. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Strasbourg will sleep next to so the you egg. Get, yeah, you get your hit points back. You Yay. sleep with your respective dragon or egg yeah. situation, yeah. gazer, whatever you have going on, forge. Ah. Um, sleep with your forge. Yeah. You are no longer haunted by dream nightmares of hell. Oh yeah, that was a thing. You uh, have nightmares. Yes, of hell. I have I, like vision. I have vision. Um, I'm. The half and half, maybe. You picked up an amulet that was cursed by the devil. Yeah, I picked uh, up I picked up a holy symbol of Asmodeus that was cursed. Sometimes I have. Okay. Sometimes That's I have. That's unfortunate, but yeah. you're okay now? Oh yeah, I'm fine Okay, now. cool. Arungan deer. It wasn't cursed. It didn't curse me. It was just... As you drift into sleep... Oh no. You have a most peculiar dream. <laughs> I sleep up right You're back home, and you see your mother. Oh, no. no, you find yourself <laughs> on a cliff... In this area, 
Uh, but it's rather different from what you've seen in the time you've been in the time you've been here. It's been very cold. It's been the dead of winter. It's been blizzards almost nonstop, um, or at least heavy snowfall. Mm -hmm. uh, but in this dream you're seeing, it's rather sunny, and the snowfall is extremely light. Okay. And you have one leg up on a rock, yeah. and you're looking down at a frost giant uh, camp below. You see frost giants, and you see some of them are, uh, yeah, milling about. Yeah. And you see human slaves moving below. And you don't really remember all the words that are said in this dream, but you remember turning and you see two dwarves. One of which has his beard very similarly done to Schmibbeldorf. Okay. Another uh, black-haired, you don't really, nothing rings a bell with that one at all. Okay. Um, and there are two humans that speak to you and you, it's, it's a dream, it's so weird, you know, you don't remember everything. Uh -huh. uh, but you do take notice that one of the human the, the, it's these two human women wow. that are with you, yeah. and one of them she's has Wayfinder, Torvi's sword, at her waist, uh, but no other rapier, not a dual wielder. Um, the other one is in heavy dwarven plate armor. The, is a, fem a human? Mm -hmm. Yep. And you just, you remember, you're just going through the dream, and then it just sort of cuts to you being where you want to be, okay. as happens in dreams. And as you are doing that, you are running towards the giants, and you pull Waith. And the giants see you coming, and they pull their weapons and shields, and begin running at you. And as you get closer, you see your reflection in one of the shields of the giants, a metal shield, an unusual thing for giants. And you see the figure of a bearded, red-headed man, human man, oh. running at them. Oh. And you see the human slaves in the background. And then the dream fades. Oh. Where do I feel it? No, I don't <laughs> think so. Cool. So it is wielding weight, not a big crop. Crossbow. Could be way in the cross. Someone in the tapestry was was wielding like, too, though, right? <clears throat> yes. The uh, I think I have a vision of the original owner of Wade. Hmm. Uh, so now I'll keep it to myself. But you awaken in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you wake up? Exactly. Osberg, shut up. <laughs> No, nah, he just wakes time. up the morning. I just wanted to see. It's freak. seven thirty. I just want to In freak you. <laughs> you wake up. You wake up and do that, and like Garbon the Goblin is like hunched over a campfire. You're like, sorry. And it's Literally like, everybody's like, dude, fuck off. And his his butt's kind of close <laughs> to your face, so he thinks he was him. It's like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What a He's nice nap, what a around. nice sleep. What a good way to start the day. I was cooking eggs. Sorry. Mm, eggs. <laughs> that was Yum. Alright. Hi guys. How's your egg? Hi. Pretty good. It's very warm. Are you a morning person? Yes. I wake up every morning to work in the fields. Go to the hells. <laughs> <laughs> and I walk out of the cave. I, I go the wrong I go the wrong also. I exit just steaming because <laughs> I slept in the floor. We all leave. <laughs> I am now alone. Oh, you are my only friend, Cornelius. Cornelius leaves. <laughs> <laughs> just pops out of existence. <laughs> I am now alone. <laughs> Silence is now my friend. Uh, just Darby throws her pillow at you. You just hear like <laughs> clattering <What>? everywhere. <laughs> just coming from the, from. You get five distance. pillows thrown at you from different directions. <laughs> <laughs> I accept this. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> They're not for you. Fuck. I know, but if you must take out your anger on me, <laughs> let it be me. Wow. Well. Okay. So. 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 <laughs> 
morning? Great! I wasn't here. You're not with us. You're in the cave. <sighs> How are you? I hit the cave. So it's, <laughs> it's better this way. <laughs> Run! <laughs> No, uh, uh, I had a, a good sleep. What are we doing, people? Yeah, I'm what are we doing? Fucking do anything? Oh no, they all left me in a cave alone. Yeah. yeah. Alone with the children. I'm gonna get ready no, for, I my child for with the next okay, uh, assault or travel into the giant scary. Yeah, where are we going? Yeah. So Gear I up. guess what I could do is I could try scrying their entrance to see if they're still <coughs> heavily guarding it. We could also, or I guess... We could have, um, last time we had Cornelius, uh, scouting out and seeing, um, watching them to see if there were yeah. any raiding parties. Cause it's like, am I could telepathically communicate with Cornelius? So it's like instant notice? Okay. So. Honestly, this is gonna sound stupid, but I think the best course of action is just wait for them to keep sending small hunting parties out. Yeah, don't you yeah. think? And then, like, and then, because I feel like yeah. if we go in there... Here's the thing, like, though. When after, like, the outside. second or third party, they'll realize they're not coming back and then kind of stop sending them out. That's fine. Then they either send out a bigger force and we can go in and investigate, or they just stay inside. That is yeah. true. May I, may I have a suggestion? Yes. When we were dealing with an orc party a long time ago, they were held up in their fortress. They would send out raiding parties. Mm-hmm. We eventually began to ambush those parties, leaving survivors. Oh, I we see, I sowed I fear. By the time we raided their fortress, the place stank of it. We were able to take it easy. I see. It's kind of like you leave one survivor to tell the deeds of the heroes, I guess, or the murderers. We have to do it long enough so that it sets in. So do we just leave one survivor each time? Doesn't also always have to be killing, mm. but leaving certain things for them to see. Like the massacre we had last yesterday. Why don't we cripple a significant amount of them? This is like really crazy. I don't know. It is, but unfortunately we don't have the manpower to go in. Oh, sorry. So now. I know I like haven't really been here that long and stuff, but why, why do we hate the giants? They're attack constantly attacking people. They're and they're uh, waging war on all civilized from, society. From what I've heard, there is a very uppity fire giant who is talking about reclaiming the lands uh, south of Hakam for the giants. They've already enslaved so, other people. Okay. They plan on coming south and taking back all the lands that the humans and other small folk have taken from them. Okay. Cool. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. And the Frost Giants, from what we've been able to gather, are in charge of weakening the villages and towns along the border. Okay. Alright. So. Can I make a quick excursion to see if any of the Frost Giants have found the bodies that we left behind. <clears throat> They'll probably be buried. In the snow. In the it snow. has been snowing over yeah. They'll probably be buried in the snow. Well, they are giants. They are, but it was snowing pretty heavily. Yeah, you're right. And the wind is was kicking. You know what I think what we should have done? We should have collected those winter wolves and made coats out of them. Well, there's always think other about, winter wolves. Because thing is, like, they're white, right? Mm-hmm. So that we, we could have made cloaks that both warm and camouflage us. Oh, uh, yeah. If you'd like to try and go digging for them. You know what? Uh, who wants to come with? I can. I'm, I'm sure, pretty good. Not. Yes. Okay, so me and uh, Rogar are going to go find us Winter Wolves. With Winter Cornelius? Wolves? Yeah, okay. Okay. I'll I think... Actually, no, you two go. I'm going to stay behind the group. I'll send in okay. Cornelius. Okay, cool. I'll stay. Or, wait, so are you sending Cornelius to to look around? The... I'm sending Cornelius so that both of them could mount up. Okay. Oh, well... Or... I don't... If it's just be the two of us going, yeah. Oh, okay. can, yeah. Just the two. Yeah. So. Oh, so you don't need I, Cornelius? No. Okay. Send then him. I'll, send him. I'll send and, him to yeah. uh, check the entrance. Yeah. And then, do you have some way of getting in contact with us? Um. Don't. Uh, <coughs> I can't. You and the lion communicate telepathically. With him. Yeah, I am. I'm sending him to the entrance so that when he uh, sees anything, he'll just tell you. See, I. 
I'm not sure if I have anything <coughs> for that right now. Nothing. Want to hear something that you'll like? No. Okay, so I was playing with, uh, I was using Ricky in another game, right? And I pissed yeah, off our ranger to the point where she grabbed Ricky by the neck and threw him off the building. And, off and, and he died. That's what he deserves. But the thing is, um, <laughs> or he was like the only other spellcaster in the group, so our cleric had to bring him back to life. You probably should. Yeah. 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 Just in case. What? Uh, and where are you going? Had to. Is a well, very I was actually going to say wrong. Okay, well, he was also like yeah. dealing most oh, of the spells. Yeah. He's He's going to scout around for... It also helps so what's out. happening, people? So you yeah, have Cornelius scouting. The two of us are going to salvage the, the, the pelts from the window. You guys are getting pelts. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, so they're, uh, I'm babysitting. You're babysitting. I'm watching the baby. I will also be there in the camp. Not well, not just watching the baby, but also cleaning up everything. You clean while I watch the baby. Yeah. Cool. You find like a Pringles can that's just on the floor. It's like it's been it's been two days, and they're already making a mess. Yeah. Is it empty? No. Um, it's empty. No, it's not empty. No. <laughs> My dragon wants. Oh, it's still. <laughs> oh, it's <sad. laughs> oh, disgusting. <laughs> yeah, that seems okay. Yeah. All right. Do we find anything? Do you think we Uh, no, you just get the pelts. Oh, get like the, the three wolves, right? Cool. Yeah. You're able to find the wolves mostly by finding the giants, <laughs> okay. which are gigantic mounds Bounds. that right. were not there yesterday. However, so that actually does prove that they can, will be able to spot the giants. Is you there any... Try to blend them in? No. I say we Is keep there any like mound that. of ice or something like that around? Anything visible? What do you mean? Uh, a place I could put a mark there. Sure. There's a big oh, old rock. Yeah, I'm going to carve an rock, yeah. arrow into the rock. Oh, oh cool. That's oh, we should have a calling card. We should have just grab a crap ton of silver and turn them into arrows to just stick them into our enemies. I mean, the, the arrow in the rock. I think. Yeah. True, yeah. pretty solid. It's yeah. a pretty solid rock. Carve it into the body. Okay, can I? Yeah, you do that. <coughs> okay. Yay. Hell yeah, that's sexy. Cool. cool. Alright, and then I suppose we have some wolf pelts over the fire drying out. And thawing. And wolf meat! I'm not gonna eat wolf meat. My dragon will eat wolf meat. I will also eat wolf meat. This is Andy talking. Andy will eat wolf meat. Eat it to the baby. Eat it to the baby. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll say I brought some back for <laughs> He loves it. <clears throat> the baby will eat everything! He's so happy, look at him, look at the happy face. I'm gonna, yeah. once he gets old enough, are you gonna give him, like, a, a word to tell him to shoot fire? Or acid? Uh, are you maybe. going to become the Deer Daenerys? Maybe I'll ask him really nicely Deer if he wants to shoot acid, please, and then he'll do it. Yeah. Deer Daenerys Rogarian. Dragons are way more smart than the dragons in Game of Thrones. Yeah. True. These are sentient. I mean, Rogar, kind of. Not, I mean, not, what is it? Uh, Rogar? Or no, uh, Drogon. Drogon, yeah. Reagan. Rhaegal was the one John rode. Okay. <clears throat> Which and also Viserion got... was a bitch. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Dude got iced. Literally. Oh, anyway, so... After that, I'm gonna go ahead and wear one of the cloaks. Okay. Yeah, uh, you don't over myself. Yeah. Yo, just Same. camouflage? Yeah. And then... I'm gonna... I, I say we're ready to get closer. Yeah. I'm gonna do the same thing, work. but put I'm gonna look alias. for some individual giants by, uh, going out by themselves. All right. You you know you have to get within 100 feet, of, 50 feet of the entrance to yeah, see it's, that. It's blizzarding pretty hard. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I mean, okay. I thought that's what we have Cornelius for. Yeah. Yeah, Cornelius can stay there indefinitely. Cause he is a um, um okay celestial being. Go ahead and yeah. ask Corn. So yeah, I already told Cornelius to do that. No, has he seen anything? Oh, yeah. Well, he, I told him that if he sees anything, he'll just tell me. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um. So in that case, what do, should we do? Should we still just start this guerrilla warfare thing on them, or or fear warfare, or what? that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. That's, but I, I would like to find some. Here's the thing, though. There also we also figured that there are multiple entrances. Yes. Have we found the other entrances though? They're all. On top. I found one of them. They're all. I found on top. what seems to be like their main. Door. Do you do a head count? 
or was it impossible? I couldn't. I couldn't see. Okay. So I could see a few, but I don't know if that. Was Can you turn to flying creatures? Not yet. God damn. Because I was, if you could, I was gonna say turn to like a freaking falcon or something. Because falcons is really good. I said it. Here's the thing. I, we theoretically, if we do this right, can take on more than we're in that hunting party. Theoretically. Theoretically. Um, a, with us being closer to full strength, and B, with us actually... With more people. Well, I was going to say having an actual plan going in of what to do. Don't forget, we're probably also going to... It's not... Oh, we're probably going to be fighting in tunnels, which could also limit their numbers. I, I we don't have, necessarily want to fight them in the mountain until we absolutely have to. Do you think we could do a thing where we can actually surround one of the entrances while they start spilling out one or two or three at a time? Um, if they that, be a lot better? that wouldn't do much yeah. because anything realistically, from mm -hmm. anything from Cornelius. not yet. Because yeah. realistically, we can only do so much damage to one at a time. I think we should do our campaign of terror. Yeah. You know what? Here's the thing. I'm actually kind of sad we don't have a freaking catapult. I mean, mm. the catapults yeah. would actually have been really good to sow a bit of fear. If somebody had the spell. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. What spell? Create catapult? Maybe I no. should create one. I don't know. I mean, can't you fabricate catapult. one? Sure. Wood um, make... Do we have a lot of spare wood? No. Yeah, Let's no. build a catapult. I don't know. Ice. Just level up first. Nice. Ice catapult. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Um, I can fabricate now. I can theoretically do it. Yeah. It's just, no, we don't have the materials. Yeah. In any case, um, Gosberg is going to essentially go out to where Cornelius is just to see what's going on with it right now. Just to, like, just lay down with his lion for a bit. Mm -hmm. Yep, you lay down next to Cornelius in the snow. Yes. I'm also going to put the cloak How over him. How greedy are frost giants? Greedy. They like to plunder. Like a lot of giants. Okay. I guess while I have a thing. Hmm. What is it? I can make a fairly large pile of illusionary <coughs> rare metals or gems, something of the, of the like. How long can you hold it for? Um, I believe if it was rare coins up to an hour. I have a question. Who here is the fastest? Not wise and footwise. That one. Probably. Some fuckers have. Efficient. Well, also, I don't think we want to use him because he's also very, you know, squishy, relatively speaking. <coughs> I was thinking <laughs> we would have one of us act as a bait and then lure a few out. Well, first, we don't need a person to act as bait. I think we bait. should try and I do can... something that doesn't put us at risk first sure. and see if they respond to that. Because the thing know? is, if you can only see, like, I can, I can also make food with that. Ooh, do you think you can make a broken down caravan? Or like um, a broken down wagon? With like stuff inside can it? Can you make a I can frost giant's camp? A small no. one, like a campfire. Can you make I like can, a sexy lady frost giant? I can make <laughs> I can make objects. All I can um, think of I can I can set up what looks like a camp. Has yeah. anyone ever read Rat like, Queens? Yeah, I have. Oh my god, it's it's a great fantasy comic. Like, and the four main characters are these badass bitches, and it's so fucking great. But there's a point where they're fighting, like, this orc army that's attacking the town, and this, like, illusionist wizard dude just, like, puts up, like, a giant naked orc lady in the sky. Yeah. And they're like, dude, sweet naked lady. And they're like, giant naked lady. It's like, and they're like, what? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> like, but it works, and they're distracted, and they get yeah. their asses kicked. <laughs> I like to imagine this is also... That and that's was all also I thought based. of. It. Yeah. I like to imagine that was also based on D&D game. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's totally based on D&D. It's, yeah. it's a complete they actually, fantasy. They, they play yeah. on the stream now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I can, I can set up a camp with spare supplies of hours and then leave ample amounts of treasure and or food in it. You know, it. we could also use Cornelius as also kind of as the bait. If what, we, need to. We, we don't need to. Cornelius yeah. well, I'm saying as is the a brave resort. animal. As the last resort. He stands up too much. Yeah. I, like I said, I am up to other <clears> ideas, <throat> but first, something that doesn't put any of us at risk. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, technically, you can't really put Premier League at risk. Technically. True. But I think we should try to But I also, I also don't know effect. what draw he would be as bait. He's because literally a line with corn for mains. I thought he was just made out of... No, he's a line with corn. With right, but... Main. For main. I thought it was wheat. Wheat and corn. Wheat and corn. Why do you think I've been like calling him corn? corn I know yes. corn. Look. <laughs> You're the one that said his main is made of wheat. I do distinctly remember you saying his main was just wheat. Well, now it's wheat and corn because he was remade. I don't know. Remade. Honestly, if he honestly, if I were if I chose my words correctly, his name would have been Wheatley. Wow. No, then we would just kill him all the time because Wheatley's a little shit. Ouch. <laughs> have you never played Portal Two? I played Portal Two. He was probably the best character. He's a funny. Guy. Not saying you're wrong. He's just evil. More, um, more stupid. What are we doing, people? Well, Gosberg's doing the scout mission. The gods! I'm gonna make they are potions of frost giant strength. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start making potions of frost, frost giant strength. Well, that will take time. In yeah. the meantime, what is happening with the actual game? Who's to say? I'm just <laughs> running around inside our camp trying to grab enough supplies to make it look like there's a small human-sized camp near the uh, frost giant yeah. uh, stronghold. And, yeah. So, like, some canvas to make some cheap-looking tents, um, stuff like that. Alright. Yeah. There's a few bare-bones spare supplies yeah. that Mudfoot is willing to part with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And an empty keg of ale, yeah. or church wine. Gosberg mm -hmm. is gonna start walking back to the camp, to the base camp, leaving Cornelius there. He put the cloak over Cornelius so he may be less conspicuous. Um, then... I guess Arumindir and I will take what we were, what they were willing to separate with, and start constructing a ramshackle camp in view of the uh, frost giant stronghold. Feel free to take the barrels if you want. Yeah. Um. Okay. And then I will cast. Does it start making noise? No, no, no not no. while we're here. Not yet. And I have a, I have a different plan for getting them out. We'll have it. Card. Um, but I'm gonna cast creation and make a bunch of gold pieces. Are they your actual gold pieces or? They are until the spell fades. Okay. They are tangible until the spell. Uh, goes Did away. you write down what my tattoos do? Uh, I think it's a D4 of lightning damage in beast form, and you get maximum hit points in wild shape. Yes. Okay. Cool. That's literally the only part of the song I remember. Um, you pull wisps of shadow material from the shadow fell to create a non-living object of vegetable matter within range. Uh, okay, since no one's really doing anything super important, we're trying to set up. Well, no one's going on the damn giant map I'd bother drawing. <laughs> because we'd rather... We we're okay, too hello. afraid. So we're, Fine. No. we're theater of the I'm, mind, This Harper. is me, and this is you. Okay. We're like... Nope. Here. Who cares? Okay. We're by the fucking Still entrance. going. Cool. Who cares? The entrance is okay, over cool. here. Okay, cool. How do I know? I'm That's with the, the baby! Oh, see you in a bit. I'm with the baby! <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, I'm in a cave. With a bee. Cornelius oh. sees something. Okay. Oh, shit. And I say, guys, Cornelius spotted something! What did he spot? Uh, some ogres went out. Guys, he found ogres! Ogres. Do ogres! ogres? Do they, what do they, are they armed, well armed? Like how many? How many? Uh, like two. Two ogres. How far away are they? From... We're walking there. Where? To the entrance. Entrance of the... The mountain, yeah. Okay, then you're not here when Gosberg says that. Yeah, Gosberg <laughs> no, is what I, in the cave. So, let's, yeah. we're just... Should we be I'm just, I'm keeping my eyes out anyways. Just, it I could be like it. a scouting party. That's fine. Low visibility. We yeah. could also take down two ogres, like, literally not part Well, here's the thing, though. What if the two ogres... If, they, if, they, if we attack the two ogres that at, in front of the low. stronghold, that means they know... They're, that's gonna confirm them that we're, we're nearby. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So we continue to walk up. Yeah. Okay. Let's start setting up. We have we have cloaks. We have our woven cloaks. Where are you setting up this camp? In somewhere in view, so that in view of the entrance, so that if the wind have changes, it'll 
it'll blow the what? smoke and the smell of a campfire into the uh, uh, mountain. Okay. And then I'm gonna take some of the meat, and we're just gonna like set up a cooking thing, like just leave meat on the fire to make the smell. Cool. Let's have Cornelius keep an eye on them, right? And then mm -hmm. if things go bad, have them have him tell me, and then yeah. help out if needed. Or like if if because we should wait for a Rungan deer and. Rogar. I was gonna say Rogar. I really was. <laughs> and Rogar to get back. We believe you. So, fuck you. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you. You're my best friend. Wow. As, also, you're not here, so fuck off. Um, <laughs> we'll wait for a run and Rogar to get back. Um, and then we'll make a make group decision. Okay. Alright. Alright, you guys begin setting up this camp. This mm -hmm. ramshackle camp. It isn't much, but it's fine. Cornelius is near you guys. <laughs> what is it, Corn? You see something? <laughs> Timmy fell down to well. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Timmy's dead now? Wait, can you speak of animals or no? <laughs> yeah, he can. Yeah. Like, naturally? Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. So Cornelius is just telling you, like, yeah, Gosberg is like, he's, he's just saying, uh, there are two ogres, or I see two ogres, and he told me to tell you that there are two ogres. Where? Uh, they're coming out the entrance. I'm gonna look. Let's see if I can see. They'd already gone by the time you got there. Mm. Okay. Which way did they go? Where? What? West. West. Go tell them that we're heading west. Okay. He goes off to tell the ogres that they're coming <laughs> for you. Cornelius. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking Like a master. Like a master. <laughs> hey, God! Hey, ogres, we're coming for you! <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa. He stands up. <laughs> ogres! <laughs> you <Yeah>, fucked! <laughs> You He's know, imagine in Cornelius. A, Cornelius is standing in a T pose. <laughs> to intimidate them. Imagine Cornelius just walking up to them. The ogres look at him and they're just like, Father? I'm Alex the Lion. Raw. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> what? I don't know. I'm sorry. Anyways, I right. thought I was saying. Uh, yeah, I told... We're, we're heading, we're heading that way. Gosberg is gonna say, Guys! Orang and and Rogar are heading west after the ogres. Why? Uh, I don't know. We're ask, I'll ask. Why are you going... Why are you going after the ogres? Is what Gosberg said. We gotta keep a beat on them, so they don't get lost. He said we gotta <laughs> keep a beat on them, so they don't get lost. But, but, but... I'll go after them, What too. should we do? This way. I don't know. What should they do? Uh, come and meet us. Come and meet them. Okay. Right. Okay. Should I bring the baby? No. Should we bring the baby? Don't. No. One hundred percent no. Okay. I'm not time even. The baby. I'm. I'm gonna leave papers in, in the cave. We leave the baby. Yay. Your best weapon. <laughs> papers hasn't done very well against the frost giants. Yeah. yeah. Or ice wolves. Okay. You only attacked them like what twice? Yeah. And that was. <laughs> so, wolf. I'm keeping up with them. Yeah. Anyways, so keep going after the ogres? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Survival check. Right, um, from both of us? Hmm? Both of us? Uh, for whoever's tracking them. I'm oh, tracking okay. them, I guess. Which I assume Arungandir is the survival guy. 25. Yeah, you're pretty sure you're hot on their heels. They haven't gone too long, so the snow hasn't completely covered their tracks. Okay. So, I guess. So, which one of us from the caves are going? I'll go. I'm okay. going. So I'll, I'll also go. We're okay, so the three of us are going. Yeah. I mean, I think we got, like, enough people back at camp. I'm gonna go see if there's a blanket in my car. I'll be back. No okay. problem. Three. What time is it, by the way? It seven is... Seven. It is... Seven. Four to seven. Four to seven? Okay. I think I got until 7.30. Okay. Hmm. So, does any... Do we need to make a survival check? Or? Mm, to get to the entrance. To get to your entrance? No. You know where that is at this point? And then we need to track the ogres, though? Or... We'll track them. So we're tracking them. Okay. So we're tracking them who are tracking the ogres. Um, you, you need to check those. Okay. I mean, you can definitely track Rogar. I'm just seeing if, like, the boots make a rung into your harder to track. Mm -hmm. Rogar has very deep footprints. Cause no, Rogar. not really, no, if anything. Okay. <clears throat> um, he's super heavy, so he's a big fear bulb dude, so you see his footprints pretty clearly. Yeah. Two of the heaviest guys. Are but ogres, down. they're difficult to see. Yeah. Because they live up here. Masters of their craft. <laughs> yeah. 
See, ogres They've don't been do walking things. longer. The yeah. snow has covered more of it up. Yeah. Also, ogres don't do things halfway. They're either good at something or they're not. Uh, okay. They don't do things in half measures. Okay, so... Where do I see them? Yeah, you catch up and you find the, dr- the ogres uh, have discovered the frost giant's bodies. Good. And where you Hello. skinned the winter wolves. What are they reacting like? They're like, oh, they're kind of freaked out that something could do this. I want to take one. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to, we're going to, me and Rogar are going to jump one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Christmas blanket. Yeah. yeah. So you I'm going to. one? Yeah. We, hey. Can I try and sneak up on it? Roll stealth. Mm, not great. Stealth? Yeah, the thing is, um, mm-hmm. what, what what happened was... What happened? Uh, is I got an 11. <laughs> oof. Okay. What do? That's an oof. Is that a, is that a sneak? Yeah. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> you feel you have stealthy. to do it, too. Do you want to... Wanna... I, I have to. It. You got it? Yeah, you got it. Uh, oof. that's... That's an oof. Um, so that's a six. Oof! Okay, the ogres turn around because they hear the clinking of Rogar's armor. Oh. I'm gonna stand up slowly and menacingly <laughs> with the sword in my Something hand. rising out of the snow. How much bigger is are the ogres than Arangadir? Like a foot or two. Oh, bam. They're not much bigger. Yeah. They're not much bigger, but they're still pretty big. I imagine they're also wider. I'm gonna smile at them. Oh! And I'm just gonna run at them. That's curious how. All right, roll initiative. Yep. Da, 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 da. Ooh. Should we roll initiative as well? Oscar, do you think they You're not close enough. No. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're fine for the most part. What'd you get? You got an 11. I got an 18. You go first. <laughs> Good okay. for you. I know, right? The so one time the cleric rolls well on initiative. So how far are they in front of me? Uh, you can run up to him. If oh you want. hell yeah! Uh, I'm pulling uh, siege breaker off my back. <laughs> Just gonna run up and smack the hell out of one of them. Dude, nat twenty. That would send a good message. Not a nat twenty, but that's a twenty-four to hit. Okay, that hits. Yeah, God, I hope. Just so. barely. They have actually twenty-five AC. Um, and screw it, I'm gonna do my divine strike. So I'm gonna add an additional D8 of fire onto this. I think that's just an automatic thing. Right, uh, look, no, look, I have to. No? Uh, choose to do it. It doesn't take a bonus action or anything, but... Uh, so that's... Um... Six... Uh, so that is... Uh... Eleven points of bludgeoning damage and six points of fire damage for a total of, uh, seventeen points of damage. Seventeen points of damage, alright. Yeah. And bonus action, I'm just gonna cast Shield of Faith on myself. Okay, you do so. And that's his eat. Okay. What do you do? Um, as he hits him, I'm gonna run up from behind and then take two swipes with my sword. All right. To, Same one. Yeah, yeah. Trying to like. I'm aiming low, trying to go for his leg. Okay. So one is going to be a 22. That'll hit. And the other is a nat 20. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, this is with weight, so yes. these are giant slayer. Oh, cool. So what do I add? It's an extra d- 2d6. Yeah, it's an extra 2d6 on top of the oh, already 2D6. critted 2d6. So wait. So you're doing 4d6 for the first one, and 6d6. <laughs> no, 8d6 for the second one. Okay. Um, one is going to be... Um, sorry, hold on. One is going to be 24 points of damage. Okay. The other... Six... Six... Five... Again. All right. Uh, seven. So, six, twelve... Twenty-four. Twenty-four plus... Um, Twenty-four plus seven, so thirty... 
two. So you run up and slash this giant, this ogre twice, and he is dead. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm going to go over it, and first I'm going to cut the leg out mm -hmm. from under one of them, and then I'm going to grab it by the head, and I'm going to cut its throat, and I'm going to look at the other one and go, run. Oh! <laughs> he does that. Yeah, yeah. I bet. Okay. And then I'm going to howl. <laughs> Just like a crazy person. Does, oh, does the, the, do we hear that howl? Sure. Okay, uh, and we're like, oh crap! Like, I know that howl! That's the we are about to die howl! It is? I assume so. I'm just gonna drop him. He didn't sound that distressed. I mean, do you ever see a wolf that sounds distressed? Acting's over. Yeah. Let's head back. Uh, Zafrab, you and whoever accompanied you, you catch up with a deer. Hi they, guys! They are see you dead? An ogre run past screaming. <laughs> Oh, fuck. As he runs Bye. past, you didn't see him actually. Oh, okay. I was okay. making a oh. dumb joke. I know. I was saying that to Jordan. But we serious. meet up. He like stops. The ogre stops. Puts a hand on your shoulder. Gotta get out of here, dude. <laughs> Don't go that way. There's a crazy guy. <laughs> Come with me. <laughs> Come with me if you want to live. There's some fear milk on bath salts over there. <laughs> You killed just my the same friend. Way. This is a matter of public safety. The frost giants will give you sanctuary. We were just picking mushrooms. Like, they were about to have a hard like... heart. So what did you want to say to me, man? <laughs> <laughs> Frank just breaks the side I of his face. Say, <laughs> Frank, I just want to say. I just want to say. Frank, we've been friends for a long time now, and I was wondering if it'd be okay if I dated your sister. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so Frank. I guess that's a no then. <laughs> Since you're dead, I'm gonna go with the ass. <laughs> By the way, oh fuck! <laughs> okay, continue. Um, yeah. really good run so, that was hey guys, are you guys alive? I assume you're alive. You look great. Yeah, we're fine. Cool. Well, oh, that was quick. Mission accomplished. Yeah. Okay, what was the mission? So fear. Okay. Yes, well. but will the frost giants be afraid of like one ogre and four and five of their friends being dead because they found the bodies? I True. think they'll be a little bit disturbed. True. Also, they'll know, because they know what we look like, right? For the most part. No, because they have warning posters. No, so I said for the most part, because the warning posters are all slightly off. Yeah, they're pretty good, though. <sighs> did they, did the, did the, um, ogres see the arrow? Uh, yeah, we'll say they did. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. Good. You loot him? There's one that's really off. There's one that it's like, that's not what... Who is it? It's like, uh... Is it Gosberg? Is it me? One, two, three, four, five. Meg six. <laughs> oh, please let it be Gosberg. Yes! <laughs> is it you? It's, yes. yeah. Yours is just, like, totally wrong. You look like a kobold. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's kobold. a red kobold. It's a kobold. <laughs> I'm like... Yeah, it's like, it's, like, fun. really skinny and, like, got, a, like, a, a pouch neck, like... <laughs> <laughs> this is just offensive. Hey, you know what? It's downright offensive. You know what? It's wearing glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Silver lining! I will never be able to find it! <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. There was going nothing to be terrifying. the ogre, I assume. Uh, not much, really, no. To find a Vorpal Blade. Oh, well, I throw it away. <laughs> we don't need this. Yes, you find a Vorpal Greatsword. <laughs> no, I die. Just what, cuts a mountain in half. Yeah. What the hell? That's actually an item. That's an yeah. item. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Warp, 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 warp. Even like to slay the Jabberwock. What? No, no, it cuts off people's heads. That's yeah. like its main gimmick. If you roll a nat twenty, it cuts off a creature's head or a limb. It or, goes. Or... No, it cuts off a limb if it's a creature that can no, survive it... without a head. Then it can. Yeah. Off its head. Yeah. If it's like if, that's basically the the Deus Ex Machina the DM can put on like if it has legendary actions or something we can be like nope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, the sword goes snooker snack. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> And then you can go glumping back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Glad we're all giant losers. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Do you want to set up that trap now? Yep. Good. Anyways, I think you're good. Guys, good here. I'm going to go have Cornelius look back at the entrance. going to go take care of the babas. Well, so, so. be ready. We yeah. might need you at any second. No yeah. problem. Don't die! Did you jump you're, off the you're, you're still <laughs> right. He right fell there, down like a... Good. <laughs> Goodbye! An ice slide. He just, down. like, slides oh, off of Cornelius. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> he rolls... He, like, slides Wrong down like, this hill and rolls...
rolls all the Wait, way to the I always want to try something. <laughs> I don't know. I got distracted okay. by that weird scream. <laughs> okay. Right. Here's what we're going for. I always want to try something. He's gonna try to slide on the snow. Like a penguin? Oh, or I just belly? push him over. Yeah. Oof. Works better when you're in your stomach. Just push him over. Yeah. No, Thank you. that's not how snow works, really. I know. I know. I just want to push him to face land in the snow. I mean, I mean, technically, penguins slide on ice. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Penguins are ice. That cold. sounds. You know, ping. You know the whole huddling thing that penguins do. It's extremely cold. No, like, it you... sounds painful. Your armor freezes on you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I get back up. You know, you know when you're you getting your frostbite. A, yeah, you know when you stick your tongue on a pole. Picture that, but for your whole body. Ah, the padding is doing it. something for you, but yeah. there's only so much. Okay, guys. That wonderful. Good news wonderful and bad news. news. Yeah, good guys, news. Yeah. I figured out I should never do that. Bad news. I'm going to rip my skin off if I take off my armor. You'll be fine. Just go stand next to my forge. Just leave it on up. forever. Done. Hi. Swap. Are you cold? Here, get in here. Hey, I'm gonna use the restroom. All right. Why must you go? Why? So you set up what? It, just the camp? Um. So it's gonna be a ramshackle camp with uh, a fire in the middle with some meat cooking, just like on s sticks in the ground, mm -hmm. and then a um, like a box or a crate or something full of gold coins that I make with my creation spell. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like the coins will be visible, but like in a container. Sort of thing. Okay. Yeah. No. See if we can draw them in. Okay. Yeah. Oh and then we're just gonna have our cloaks on and just against the side of the cliff or something. I'll go. I'll make a stealth roll so that's necessary. You guys are just gonna hide against the cliff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Roll stealth. Uh, do I have disadvantage since yes. I'm not moving? No, it's not a dragon roll. Do you guys want me? To I mean, be with if you? you're not moving, sure. Okay. Straight roll. You guys want me to be with you? Sure. If you'd like, yeah. Uh, we that's can always a use that wizard. A cannon. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, for me, it's a 17. That's gonna be an uh, 11 for me. So what? 11? 17? 15. Alright. So you guys are just camped outside? Yeah. yeah. An hour passes, okay. and eventually the ogre comes back and enters again. The ogre who ran out, he got lost. <laughs> um, <laughs> does he does he see the camp? Yeah, he's like looking at a map, so like he doesn't Stop. notice it at first. That's funny. <laughs> Turns it over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not killing him. <laughs> I need nope. to tell it. Nope. He sees the camp. He like kind of looks around, see if he can see anyone. Doesn't see anyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just take some of the meat. <laughs> yeah, he grabs a haunch. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Looking that around. My favorite haunch! <laughs> How far away are we from the camp? How far do you want to be? You guys set it outside? Oh, by the way, I just called my dad. He said I'm, uh, I can stay here until 8.30 as long as I get a ride home. Cool. I put it close to, uh, like, yeah, I say we're pretty close so that we can cover distance mm -hmm. and get up pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright, you're in, like, a rocky crag hidden by your cloaks and mm -hmm. snow. Mm -hmm. Are we within 60 feet? Sure. Yeah. What's going on right now? He kind of goes over to the fake coins. He's like... Looks around again. I'm going to make the howl I used last time when he ran away. Okay. Just like turning... I got, I'm going to turn the other way and do it. Ow! So it sounds like it's coming... Up do a performance thing. check. Or intimidation. Also, what happens when someone grabs the coins? They're real. They're real? The, they just for, go away? For all intents and purposes, they're real, Intangible. and they can't, like, unless someone um, either dispels magic on them or magic. uses or uses them as a spell component, it can't be uh, 19 broken. 19 for intimidation. Grabs a handful and runs inside the frost giant lair. 
Control flames. Do that on the frost giants for now. Just make the fire leech. It. Like, I'm just the fire is dying. <laughs> I'm just imagining. Oh, I you're in the continual flame. You're in the snow. I'm just imagining when you do that, Tornado yeah, just, just kind of like. I'll just say I'll use continual flame. But once you're done, okay. it just looks back so there. Just looking at his paw. Just cleaning himself. I hear you guys are making traps for the giants. Yeah. We set up a. Well, we set up a camp. We're trying to make it a uh, decoy. Uh, well, like a. Uh, Not decoy. You suggested but... traps, didn't you? Yeah. Ambushes? Did. Yeah. Well, now we're actually kind of, apparently we're gonna try to make them afraid as afraid as possible, like crazy afraid to yeah, scare them. Yeah. Oh out. man, we're doing some some crazy stuff. I say we chop off one of the giant's heads and then fling it over the iceberg. How? Huh? That's gross. How? I don't know. Who here has a great sword? And who here knows taxidermy? Well, there, there are at least three of us with great swords. Why do we need to know swords. taxidermy? Well, we need to figure out how to clean the head, dude. Oh it's an inanimate object. You know, seeds breaker. But the boom? Yeah, of course it's an inanimate object. <laughs> well, it's, when it's dead, it's inanimate. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to spend time chopping a giant head off. I don't know. That sounds gruesome. And frankly, below my standards. You're the See, one who chopped off the leg and stole it. He didn't am. chop off an ogre's <laughs> leg. He sliced it in the leg so it would okay, fall so and then slashed his throat. So, you guys are just chilling there? Yeah. yeah. Just you guys. Gosberg is going to make soup. Gosberg makes no soup. Yeah, he's yeah, gonna he make did. soup. Torvi's at the cave, I assume. I guess, yeah. This one, this one, and and you guys are just watching the camp baby. with yeah. Cornelius. Yeah. I'm gonna put a ration, I guess. Yeah. Are we... uh, okay. Oh, patient. Okay. Yeah. So it's just you three and Cornelius. Yep. Okay. Oh. Have Cornelius send word because we're not gonna jump out immediately. Okay. We're gonna give you guys time to get. Relatively close. Okay. Um. To do what? To attack. To attack. Yeah. The main. Okay. Um, I'm busy making the soup, and then as I'm uh, bringing the soup to the peoples, uh, Godbird says, "Hey guys, eat some soup." By the way, Arangandir and uh, Rogar said that they're about to attack the base, and we should be there as fast as possible. What? That's Wait, really? Not what I said. Huh? I said to have Cornelius let you know when the giants come out and are investigating the camp. Oh. So that you guys okay. can come to <laughs> any Okay, you realize that won't be quick, right? You guys are very far from No, I realize. Entrance. Yeah. Okay, okay never mind. He's basically, I'll just say that, yeah, no, never mind. He said that, um, um... All right, call off the attack! Call, call off the attack! Call the attack! Eat your soups! And he's, like, like running around running in a long ball. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wait, after, sorry, like, another bad. half hour, uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, the ogre comes out again. The same but he was followed oh. by a few more ogres uh. and some frost giants. Excellent. Good. Two frost giants come out following ogres? the ogres. Like six more ogres. I'm gonna tell them, guys. Uh, Orangadir and Rogar is facing off six o uh, six ogres, two frost giants, and then two more frost giants. Time to go. Two some more. Four. four. And then some winter wolves come out. Four oh. frost giants. And how many winter wolves? And then a frost giant. Seemingly in nicer armor than the rest of them. A gleaming longsword at his hip. Steel, not bone and stone. Is it a longsword Shining steel. sized for a giant? It's a longsword sized for a giant, and he has a big old, very nice shield oh, in hand. Go. He's got a long white beard and long white hair. They're fighting Santa Claus! He's wearing a chain jack. And he is followed by more frost giants. Oh my god. They're They're so what are the numbers right close. now? It's like eight frost giants plus what you're presuming is Jarl Grugner himself. Jarl Grugner. Six ogres. And I'm borrowing. Six some ogres. And some winter wolves. Okay, so uh, Cornelius wouldn't understand the whole Jarl thing. And there's also, so, after yeah. them, mm -hmm. a cloaked figure. Mm hmm. So enshrouded in this big, nice, very nice looking purple cloak that you can't make him out. Is it also a giant size or? About the size of an ogre. Okay. So Cornelius is gonna. Okay, so. Uh, guys, so there are going to be nine frost giants. One of them looks to be the leader. 
six ogres and just an undetermined number of white wolf things. Also, there's going to be someone important looking. Wearing a purple cloak. I assume it's purple. Cornelius said it was some kind of dark grayish. I don't think lions can see color. Okay. Alright, let's, let's go. Let's go then. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Cornelius is going to tell uh, Arungadir, so, uh, so should we go or. Take it on a quick, though, and an easy pace. Uh, seen. Okay, well, he told us to go take it slow and make sure we're not seen. I turned which into is... a deer and I start running. <laughs> I well, get on war paint. I just walk. Congratulations. You can, you can get on get on the horse. I will get, get on the horse. Get on war paint. I get on the horse. Christ. Yeah. Is Asterix coming? Asterix? Asterix? Asterix. Yes, keep referring to the cat as Asterix. 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 So these nine plus frost giants, ogres, and cloaked figure, as well as the, we'll call it four winter wolves are investigating the area. Still, you guys put this within view mm -hmm. of yeah. the entrance. Yeah. So, they are lined up around the entrance, and Grugner, Lord of the Frost Giants, steps forward to the camp. And with the skill of a trained hunter, begins investigating oh, and scanning the area. Eleven and fifteen, right? <laughs> yeah, this was seventeen. For what stealth? Yeah. Should Cornelius roll a stealth check? I mean, if you wished. I mean, we never would really set it up, so. And he looks directly at the crag, where you all lie in wait. Oh fuck.